this time I have a red IPA from Sadler's. Five uh, percent ABV, uh, red in color and big in character. A citrus, passion fruit, and mango aroma leads to resinous hop character and is balanced with a sweet malt finish. Well, we will see if this statement is true. But you know what? It's a nice old-fashioned label, I would say, with the elephant, green elephant, there. Um, cup just plain golden and what they say on the back the same the same thing uh, repeated um, but brewers signature very very crafty uh, grain Maris otter pale ale crystal chocolate and wheat malt hops Amarillo Nelson Sivon and green board so two uh, Australian hops and American mm, nice uh, I'm not in uh, food marching and uh, cookery tips. Um, well, red IPA, 5%. Okay, well, let's have a try. I know it used to be 5.7 and with different uh, different hops. Uh, so probably it's a downgraded version or changed recipe. So, if someone had the you know, original version and had the opportunity to uh, drink this one, please let me know. Is it a big difference in it? Well, obviously, 0.7% in alcohol, it will be a difference. Right, it goes quite nicely. Oh, nice carbonation. Uh, deep amber color. Clear, had small, small, medium, but quite a lot of big bubbles as well. It's a little bit of color. Nice fruity aroma, definitely, straight away. Some tiny maltiness, some citrusy accents, but fruitiness is straight away. Well, quite nice. So. Let's have a try. You know what? The carbonation is not very high here. I would say medium. The beer uh, is full bodied. The nice maltiness, little bit of. Um, Burnt crust somewhere, a little bit of caramel, uh, some biscuity notes, uh, lots of dry fruits. Um, also, lemon, citrus zest. A little bit perfumey. It's very settled, quite velvety, soft. I think because of the you know carbonation, it's quite soft, very pleasant uh, drink with some you know soury, lemony, citrusy accents on the end, which makes this beer very very drinkable. Bitterness, it's not very high. Maybe it's just because it's well balanced with the, with the um, maltiness, but it's it's nice. It's nice. It's um, I would say quite British in style. There's a lot of fruitiness here. And then bitterness, it's just slow building up. Oh, now, now, I'll take another sip. It was 
to judge bitterness fully, you have to take at least three sips. All right. So there is some you know, like burnt crust accents, so melan melanated. Then you have slightly grassy, slightly earthy and herbal accent but it's everything is very very soft yes and you know what they use American and Australian hops but the Australian hops actually are producing very nice subtle British bitterness there is nice uh, like fruity accents and uh, dry fruits uh, they are coming from hops as well especially green bullet uh, so yeah you know what this is very nice very drinkable almost sessionable beer it's five percent so it's a little bit above uh, i think they were going you know from 5.7 to 5 to increase uh, drinkability i didn't try the you know previous version so i don't know so i'm counting on you put lots of comments in it actually it's quite nice rounded beer with quite low bitterness or very well balanced bitterness because you can't really taste it so much you have this you know distinctive um, um, burnt crust features and some caramel so you know burnt caramel but this, you know, like very traditional English earthy, grassy uh, bitterness, it's very, very soft. Well, quite nice beer, quite nice beer. I was expecting uh, rather, you know, more, you know, Australian features, some mango or what did they say to on the said on the uh, label. Maybe it's just, you know, this round fruitiness. Uh, it is a quite the mixture. You have resins, you have uh, some soft uh, exotic fruits, but I can't pinpoint, you know, which one exactly. You know, it, it is a nice rounded mixture. It's quite pleasant. There's not so much in aroma from from the, you know um, those Australian hops, but still it's very nice beer, and I, I like it. So I hope you like this video. Please leave the uh, thumbs up. Uh, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Please do it if you didn't. And when you've done it already, hit the notification button in the shape of the bell. It will remind you about every new video on the channel, so you'll be up to date and you will not miss any new L-Tech stations. Cheers!